up, buddy nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. Today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest Chapter 159. But before we get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm, and it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable little wizard kitty who's somewhere over here, um, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So... Okay, so last chapter, we got to see more members of Ignea's Guild, and I'm really, really excited to see the different fights we're going to get with them, especially for Grey. Please do not let us down on that one, Mashima. Seriously. But it looks like first, we're going to be getting um, Ursa's fight. Wed. So let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us today. And this chapter is titled uh, Fire Illusion Revels. Here we go. Dude, I love Wed's armor. But I'm not gonna lie, Wed's armor looks kind of familiar. I feel like we've seen it in other series, but I'm just gonna go along with it. Can I help you? Here we go. We're in town. Have you lost your mind? Dude, this fire is looking good. Atsuo, the fire is looking decent. I've seen way better fire, yes. Way better fire. But the fire is looking decent. A flame sword. Ooh. I don't know who you are, but if you've drawn your sword, you must be prepared to be cut down. Yeah, let's go! Dude, it broke Urza's sword. What? Requip? Yes! The Fire Empress armor. I knew, should have all known this one was coming. But yeah, I love this armor. I love this armor. But because I love the pigtails. I do. I love them. But ooh. Ooh, okay. That was nice. Who are you? Uh, you're as skilled with the sword as your reputation suggests. No wonder you're number one with the sword in Ishgal. No, there are plenty of people um, in Ishgal on my level. Hmm. My name is Wed, number one with the sword in Giltina. Hmm. You seem quite confident in your skills. What business do you have with me? Isn't it obvious? Determining which of us is stronger. Sorry, but I'm not interested. Those are the words of uh, one who wields a blade? My sword isn't for being the best. I wield it to protect my friends. I see, that's a fine stance to take. But foul can come when you least expect it, and you can't escape it. I have no intention of running or of uh, letting you escape either. I have no interest in seeing which of uh, I have no interest in seeing which of us is stronger. But when someone picks a fight with me, I won't back down. Yeah, oh, I love this. I forgot how hot this armor is. But man, Otsuo, ugh! I wish this armor had more detailing in here! Ugh! It's just... The problem I have with Otsuo's, um, art for, uh, uh, for Urza's, um, Fire Empress armor. I wish it was was cinched just a teeny bit more, cause how it looks right now is uh, Urza does not have her hourglass figure as much as she should, and it really is irritating me. It's mainly up here that's the problem. The thighs, the thighs are thighsing, but the breasts are breastising like they should. And I know it could be the angle, but mm, it's just not. It's not working for me. Also, it's just I, the detailing should be detailing a lot better. God, I can't get over the Barbie called Peacock. I, I just can't. 
If you know where the fire god's castle is, please tell us. We need to go there. You must be out of your minds. Just tell us. Um, hey, Natsu isn't back. Estella is back. Now they know us. Um, where did he go? What's wrong, Wendy? I smell some sort of fire, like a building burning. Is it Natsu? No, this is... Wendy! Woo! What's going on? Where am I? Where's the saloon? And everyone else? Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> there's nobody here. Wait, there's nobody here. Um, what's going on? Uh, I fucked this up. I'm sorry. Me. Ah, this is so creepy. A talking flower? Is it a flower? What's going on? Um, where'd everybody go? Dude, this is an ass trip. Yeah, but... I'm sorry, Oswald. I gotta be nitpicky and go in on you a little bit like this. I I've been very much spoiled by trippy art. Well, trippy slash surrealistic art. Um, and you are very much lucky that I am not covering Four Nights of the Apocalypse before this. Because, man, th that manga has very trippy art at times. Same with, uh, what's the other one? Well, I covered Dan today and yesterday. That art got a little trippy, but not as trippy as I wanted it to. Oh, God. My dick covers that. Ugh, Zatch Bell. Zatch Bell is, is the one that I was, th another one I was thinking of that gets very trippy. Um, but man, Oswald, you aren't going for it with the, the trippiness. Because this, this should be surrealistic as fuck. You got a talking flower here. This is not giving me the fantasy that it should. A talking flower? Is it a flower? What's going on? Where'd everybody go? Wait, I'm floating? Because we're up above the sky. Goodness, what a beautiful young lady. What the hell is that? Would you play a color game with me? Talking to... That's a talking jello? My mind went into a different place. Ha. <sighs> Uh, they have no idea that these are illusions I've made with my flame. I love you, Raj. But, Ra but man, that is not Jello. That is not Jello. Um, they're characters from my favorite manga series. What? What? Ah! Hold on. What? So, so uh, Nakajima and Grief are from, uh, so Brave Master fans, you got something here. Grief son and, um, wait, sorry. Nakajima son and Grief son and, best of all, what's this? <gasps> what the fuck is that you doing here? What's this place? It's freezing. This is the demon world. Hein son, the freezing demon, freezing demon world. What? What is Hein son doing? Okay. All right. Hein being here really confirms what I've been thinking about, Devrock. So if Hein is here, that means Yakuto is Agnologia, and Agnologia is coming back at some point. You have confirmed this, Mashima. You have fucking confirmed this now. Oh my god, Hein! Oh my god, it's Hein! Oh my god, because... Okay, I'm spoiling Devrock. For one thing, Hein is dead in Dead Rock. So, yeah, Hein being here is amazing. It, it, it makes me really, really happy. Oh my god, it does. But something I've been saying for a minute, and I said this at the very beginning of Dead Rock, when we saw uh, Yakuto. I said, and especially since they're in the demon world, I said Yakuto was the, um, was basically Acnologia. And the Acnologia, it's, uh, when Acnologia... Okay, Yakuto defeats God that he's gonna come back into the world of fairy tale. Mashima, you have fucking confirmed this! You have confirmed this now! I know he said that it's from his favorite manga, but, bro, you cannot deny this! 
You cannot deny this shit is going to happen at some point. If you can bring Dead Rock characters into fairy tale, there is no reason that you can say, that you can't say, that Yakuto, with this curse of Agnola, is going to be, is going to come into the world of fairy tale. And if it means, if it means at some point that we will see Agnologia, aka Yakuto, if Ignia uses this to bring Yakuto as Agnologia into the world so he could defeat Agnologia to prove a point, I will not be mad. I will not be mad at that. Oh my god, please. Please just give me that. I, I need that. I, I need this in my life. I, I, I need this. But I miss, I miss Hein so much. I was so pissed when Hein was killed. Oh my god, I'm so happy Hein is here. You have no idea. But I swear to god. Please, Mashima, just prove my fucking point and bring Yakuto as Agnologia into the world of fairy tale. Even if it's in the form of heroes. And I just, I need that. I need my point proven. No, 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 no. I really, really would love to see it, the uh, Ignea summoning uh, um, Yakuto to prove my point. Um, I would love, that's why I'm like, if it's in hero, like a heroes kind of thing, I would not mind that. I would not. God, I would love because remember, Ignia wanted to. Ignia said at the near the beginning of this manga that he could defeat Agnologia by himself, and if that means bringing Yakuto up in there to do it, I would be so stoked. I would be fucking happy with that. Oh my god, just uh, Mashima, you can make this happen. If you can make this happen, I will be very, very happy with that. If this means, okay, if this means putting Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest on hiatus for a long period of time so you can get Dead Rock to that point where, um, where Yakuto uh, lifts the curse that, that is placed upon him um, right now because it, uh, his power is limited to his arm at the moment, um, have that curse lifted, yeah, I, I, I will be happy, especially because... Or either that, or like have him su uh, get summoned by Ignea to train. I, I just, I want to see this. I really want to see this happen. I want to see Ignea fight Yakuto really bad now. Oh, please. Please, for the love of God, I just need this in my life. I want, uh, I want my point proven. I want my point proven. Oh my god, I just, I need this in my life. I need, I need to, I need my theory proven. That that, that Yakuto can come back to the world of the living and be Agnologia. I know, I know his motives for why he's killing God is different, but... I just want my point proven that Yakuto is Agnologia resurrected. That's all I want. I want that shit. Just give me that and I will be freaking happy. I would love to have that. Just give me that shit. Give me that and I will be happy. Oh my god. I just, I need this. I need this so bad. Ugh. I mean, if Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest is going on with pure fan service, you will bring Agnologia into this manga. I mean, Yakuto into this manga. You will do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. You will make this happen. Oh my god. But seeing, but that aside, seeing Hein here, because we're in the demon world right now, okay? This means we're going to have a demonic awake. We, and I know we have Demon Slayer. We have Ice Demon Slayer. We do. But I feel like we're going to get something more here with Grey. Because we're in the demon world, for fuck's sake. We're going to see something pushed in terms of Ice Demon Slayer. 
we're gonna we gotta have an ice de demon awakening. I swear, if we do not get an awakening here in this fight between Hine and Gray, I am going to be furious. Because in order for Gray to fight a um in order to for Gray to fight his fire equivalent, he's gotta have an um uh, he's gotta have an awakening. There's no question about it. He needs to have a um an an awakening here. Oh, I can't wait for this fight. I am so hyped for this fight. You have no idea. Cause he needs to get like next level um uh ice ice demon powers here. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am so excited for this. Mashima, you better be giving us this awakening here. Oh, you better give us this awakening here. Like, we need hell ice here. We need demon ice. Like, ice that is strong enough to freeze fire. We need this here. We need Gray to have this awakening here. And it will make up for the fuckery that happened in the Viernes, um arc. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys uh, thought of this chapter. DevRock fans, I want to know what you guys think here. Like... Does this make you want Yukudo to like get to come here even more? I I really want that point proven that Yukudo is like Agnologia's uh, Agnologia uh, resurrected. I just fucking need that in my life, and I would love to see him fight Ignea. I oh, I need it so bad. I need it. I need it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more 100 Years Quest content, a few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.